everyone my name is ashish and i am a senior technical architect at salesforce i am joined with rakesh gupta who is the one of the three pillars of virtual ravi and ravi and nupur so ravi and nupur are going to show some exciting stuff about new stuff tonight i think this is time take it away ravi nupur let's see what you got for us all right thank you ashish and you guys can see our screen not at the moment we see your beautiful faces okay give me just one second you can share only host i guess okay how about now hold on a second all right here we go there we go we can see it awesome all right so good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone depending on which time zone and which place you are in uh, today we're going to talk about uh, salesforce integration with mulesoft uh, i'm not sure how, how many of you uh, are aware of mulesoft or know about mulesoft but after the session you'll probably know get to know the benefit uh, what mulesoft brings to salesforce integration a big shout out and thanks to our sponsors without them this would not have been possible so thank you for that all right so i am ravi singhal i am a mulesoft solution architect i have been working in this space for almost 12 years I love building and connecting apps. So when I'm not building and connecting, you will find me either riding bike or hanging out with my friends. Nupur. Hi everyone. I'm Nupur Yaduka. I'm a senior soft, MuleSoft consultant. I have been working in MuleSoft for about two to three years. Uh, before that, I was working in .NET. So I'm from a Microsoft background. So if you have any questions about how to switch from Microsoft World to MuleSoft. You know who to contact. Oh, here you go. Thank you, everyone. All right. So let's talk about some high-level one. What do you mean by connected experience, right? One second. Okay. So for years, you know, we have been talking about the fourth industrial revolution, where everything and everyone is connected. And there comes digital transformation. So nowadays, you know, you might have heard about every company every enterprise either they are going through a digital transformation journey or they are in process of you know starting a digital transformation and this is how companies respond to the fourth industrial revolution it's not a buzzword it's about how companies are able to adapt to their technological technological challenges and changes brought to by this revolution and with the advent of new technologies like mobile social iot big data you know everything is fundamentally changing on how businesses connect with their customers today and making them more fragmented and more siloed in fact with average enterprise today has more than 900 applications but only 29% of them are connected and this creates a big gap you know between the connected experience that customers are demanding and the siloed and disparate systems that these enable uh, experiences so let's talk about a little bit on salesforce right so i'm not an expert on salesforce but i have done a lot of work in mulesoft and you know integration towards mulesoft and salesforce so salesforce customer 360 platform the benefit that mulesoft provides is you know it completes this this platform because it because mulesoft unlocks data across any application data sources device and brings that data into customer 360 platform to deliver truly connected relevant and personalized customer experience mulesoft anypoint platform is in fact salesforce innovative integration platform for all connecting all of your enterprise applications it provides the world's leading platform for connecting any app data or device both within and beyond salesforce be it a new modern application or a legacy application such as mainframe as400 whatever 
With this, Mulesoft and Salesforce together enable customers to unlock data across legacy systems, cloud apps, and devices to make smarter, faster decisions and create highly differentiated and connected experience. As we have seen in the previous slide, the biggest challenge to provide a connected experience in today's is, you know, in company's landscape is highly fragmented and data is in silos. Integration is the missing link in digital transformation today. Now with MuleSoft and Salesforce, you can offer a truly connected experience for your customers. So how do companies stay ahead of the curve? You know, we, when we talk about digital transformation, the question always, always, you know, CIOs, CTOs, when you talk to them, they always ask, you know, how do we stay ahead of the curve? Because, because of the fast changing landscape of technology, the business demands, you know, everything is, you know, you have to deliver quickly. You, it has to be secured. So how do you do that? And how do you start building that foundation for a digital transformation? So that's where modern APIs comes into picture. And over the year, you know, the term API has been described by, you know, any sort of generic interface to an application. And that's what an API is. But at MuleSoft, when we talk about APIs, we talk about modern APIs. They are not just generic interface, but they are they are modern APIs that are used to transform data, uh, you know, connect one data format to the other, orchestrate, and connect to any application, data, and devices. As a solid foundation for digital transformation, these modern APIs must be easy to find, easy to understand, easy to use, and they should have built-in security. Uh, you know, it should be able to do what it is supposed to do with that dramatically lowering time and cost through reuse and self-service. With that, we talk about very famous and I uh, you know the key buzzword nowadays from Microsoft is API-led connectivity approach. So when we build this uh, building blocks that are the foundation of digital transformation, how do we actually connect them? And that's where API-led connectivity comes into picture. It's based on the principle of connecting systems and exposing data through modern APIs. It is based on three layers. System layer, process layer, and integration layer. This is just a way of classifying our APIs. It is not an architecture. So at the very bottom, you see we have system APIs that talks to the actual external systems or any, any system for that sake, you know, that provides you data or that is the source of data. And, and that we, we create system APIs that unlock that information, unlock that data, and provide, you know, to the other layer. Process APIs, you know, what is process API? Process API orchestrate data from the system APIs to deliver high level of uh, value. For example, customer API in this case, if you see here, we have order history information, order status API. And at the top, we have experience API. They consume data and capability, data and capability exposed by the process API and transform them for consumption by an application or a device. So experience API, experience layer can be of different types. You know, you, you can have an experience API for your IoT device, for your web interface, for your mobile, and for your commerce API. But the reuse happens at the process layer and the system layer. Because your first project, you will, let's say your first project is for your mobile API, right? So you, you will start defining your customer API information, your shipment information. But once you have defined the, those API information at the process layer, then going forward for the next project onwards, you don't have to define them again. You will just reuse them at the experience layer. And all you need to do is uh, recreate your experience layer for that interface, and uh, that, that creates a reusable interface for all of your APIs. And orchestration happens at the process and the experience layer in this case. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the application network. What is an application network in today's world? So then an application network is something that many of our customers are building today, and the idea is very simple. You know, 
it, it's a way to connect an application data and devices through apis and apis are something that expose some some or all of your assets and data into the network so with every new project that you build and you deliver nodes are created and the new nodes are added based on the previous node that you have created so that helps you to deliver projects faster that that gives you 94% fewer security incidents uh, because in because in that case every node in the network has built in security and governance 63% lower maintenance cost that is due to our reuse and self service and with modern apis as we are building blocks reusable happens so you get faster delivery and the and it's it's the agility to build things and deliver things faster Microsoft Salesforce connectivity use cases, right? So we are going to review some of the use cases that every customer has to go through during their digital transformation journey. And what we are going to focus here is, you know, that how Salesforce integrate with the external systems with and without the presence of Microsoft. So you will see use cases where you say, you know, how Salesforce integrate with external systems today, how Salesforce will integrate with systems when Microsoft uh, the power of Microsoft comes into picture so for the next set of slides i'll i'll hand over to my colleague nupur nupur who will uh, cover these use cases and explain how Microsoft will help and ease these integration pain points for you over to you nupur thank you ravi salesforce integration solutions <clears throat> uh, integration across the salesforce platform can be broadly categorized into three main offerings, Salesforce Connect, Heroku Connect, and Salesforce Customer 360. The Salesforce Connect is great for native and point-to-point -point connectivity. Heroku Connect is good for synchronizing course Salesforce data with Heroku apps. And Salesforce Customer 360 is good for integrated, integrating Salesforce application to build a customer 360. So MuleSoft AnyPoint platform offers a truly connected experience and, and can connect anything to anything. So now we are going to focus on use cases that typically different Salesforce persona come across on daily basis in terms of unlocking data from different systems. First use case is towards native point-to-point -point connectivity between different Salesforce cloud offering. So from Salesforce admin perspective, the challenges they face is, how can I easily reference data from external sources within the context of my Salesforce sales and service business process? Salesforce Connect. This approach provides native point-to-point -point connectivity for Salesforce core sales cloud, service cloud, or lightning apps. You can access data from another Salesforce org or another systems using OData or through custom Apex adapters. The key point here is you are not moving data into Salesforce. You are referencing data from external systems in real time using external objects. So different way of integration approaches is uh, one is Salesforce Connect. Salesforce Connect, which is a great way of accessing real-time data coming from external systems from Salesforce org. While this is a great tactical approach to quickly connect a system to Salesforce, the approach is point-to-point -point and can become unmanageable when too many external objects get created. You may have to do a lot of custom work for external systems, especially if the system does not support OData. This is also, there is also no way to aggregate or orchestrate multiple systems together. Like you can see here, is a Salesforce org and there's a Salesforce connect. So to connect with different applications here, like SAP, Oracle, Workday, AWS, uh, we use OData API or custom adapter. Salesforce connect with MuleSoft. 
So as we saw in the earlier slide, there, it was without MuleSoft. It, like, when, in this slide, if you see, there is no aggregation or orchestration done here. But when MuleSoft comes into picture, we have uh, the Mule, like MuleSoft can complement this by providing an OData API to Salesforce to simply to, to simplify data access to external systems with API-led connectivity. MuleSoft can connect to systems using 200 plus adapters and aggregate or orchestrate them to hide the complexity and reduce development time. Like you can see here in the previous slide, if you have to connect to any uh, external systems, you connect via OData API and directly Salesforce connect, connects with OData API and they connect different APIs. Sorry. Here, once the MuleSoft comes into picture, it exposes the OData API and then Salesforce just have to connect it to that and rest other responsibility is taken care by MuleSoft it, and uh, with the connectors that they expose. So if, just to add to that, MuleSoft has built-in connectors, right? So you can see here, MuleSoft has built-in Salesforce connector to connect to Salesforce. They have SAP connector to talk to SAP, Oracle connector, Workday connector, so forth, right? So for every single connector, you can orchestrate and aggregate that information and expose that to Salesforce via OData API. Thank you. So Real-time access with MuleSoft. In continuation from the previous slide, MuleSoft can also provide other ways to do real-time access on top of external systems. It can provide REST APIs that can be used from Lightning apps, Heroku apps, or external apps. Another use case with Salesforce admin or developer's perspective is that how can we connect Salesforce core data with custom Heroku apps. This can be done by another integration approach that is Heroku Connect, which is a great way to synchronize Salesforce core data with custom Heroku apps by doing bi-directional data replication between Salesforce and Heroku Postgres. Heroku Postgres and Heroku Connect. In this case, data is copied from Salesforce, from Salesforce to Heroku Postgres, which can be accessed by Heroku apps directly. Other, other applications can also access data using standard SQL. The object between Salesforce and Heroku Postgres can be mapped through simple point-click interface, can sync based on an adjustable polling frequency. So Heroku Connect. So Heroku Connect will synchronize data in Salesforce and Heroku Postgres. So as you can see here, Heroku Connect can connect between Salesforce and Heroku uh, Postgres. Salesforce Connect can be used for Salesforce to access Heroku Postgres through external objects. <coughs> Heroku Connect with MuleSoft. So we can bring MuleSoft in, in picture while using Heroku Connect too. So when MuleSoft can complement this by providing a way to synchronize data from external systems, as you can see here, to Heroku Postgres using the database connector plus 200 plus connectors to external systems. So as you can see here, if you want, if the other systems like SAP, Oracle, Workday, AWS, they want to connect to Heroku Postgres. So they can connect using through MuleSoft with, with the inbuilt connector that MuleSoft has, that's the database connector. And it can access directly the data directly from Heroku Postgres. And also because as Heroku Postgres has data from Salesforce too, so it can like, it becomes easier and <clears throat> to access data here. So just, just to add one more thing here, uh, just give an example, right? So you have a Heroku app that pulls data from Salesforce. And in addition to Salesforce, it also pulls some information from SAP, Oracle, Workday or AWS. 
specific applications, right? So how do you connect all of that? So most of most of the time, MuleSoft provides database connector, as Nupur said. So database connector can be connected to Postgres. Postgres is going to pull that information from the rest of the external systems and give it to the Heroku apps. So that, that's what this overall connectivity uh, shows how powerful MuleSoft is by by bringing you know out of the box connectors to connect to any external systems. So data sync with MuleSoft. MuleSoft can also use Salesforce connector to get or push to Salesforce or stream events from Salesforce, like a new opportunity or a case to external systems. The MuleSoft connector uses the Salesforce data APIs such as streaming APIs and bulk APIs to manipulate data in Salesforce. So uh, integrate Salesforce application. So if you think about another question that or another um, challenge is that Salesforce admin usually come into, uh, they, it comes to them is, we own commerce cloud, marketing cloud, and service cloud, would, and would like to orchestrate cross-channel experience. So how do we achieve it? How do I get into that point? A new approach for integrating Salesforce application is Salesforce 360. It unifies sales services and marketing customer data with a common data model across core and non-core Salesforce to deliver a unified CRM platform. Salesforce Connect uh, Customer 360. Salesforce 360 makes it easy for administrators to configure a single view of their customer across Salesforce application. It is powered by AnyPoint platform to integrate the Salesforce application and enrich it with external data. Unified view between commerce, marketing, and service, and other external systems. Admins uses Salesforce Customer 360 data ma manager under the hood to build a single source of truth for your customers. Use case four, and I think this this use case is more from CIO's perspective, right? So when when you go and talk to the leadership team at different enterprises, right? Most of the time, a question is asked, you know, we need to transform our IT. We have a huge IT team spread across different geographies, different regions, right? And how do we transform the IT infrastructure to unlock data? And how do we increase speed and agility to build a connected customer experience? That's where API-led connectivity approach of MuleSoft comes into picture, where you know MuleSoft helps to unlock data and build connected experience. As mentioned earlier, MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform it helps customer drive speed and agility through API-led connectivity, and it unlocks data, automates business processes, and creates new experiences. When you talk about MuleSoft AnyPoint platform, we have a concept called AnyPoint Exchange, and in an exchange. It's, it's more like a repository where you can store built-in artifacts, best uh, code repositories, you can have best practices, uh, you can have templates. And by default, you know, we, MuleSoft has templates built specifically for Salesforce that help simplify the process for merging data across different entities, moving data off a legacy CRM system, updating Salesforce with ERP data in real time, or creating APIs that pull data from multiple systems. All of these templates are built in and they are ready to use. AnyPoint platform allows you, it also provides you the, uh, the benefit or the facility to allow for automated updates of contacts, accounts, products, leads, opportunities, and users in Salesforce when any change occurs or a new information appears in ERP or CRM applications or databases or any other Salesforce instance. Integration templates enhance consistency of data records in real time across applications, geographies, business units, and departments. So over the years, MuleSoft has invested in understanding Salesforce with blueprints, built-in connectors, expertise to accelerate your connectivity. Today, MuleSoft and Salesforce are better together with a wide range of offerings to power your digital transformation, such as 100 plus built-in Salesforce connectors and assets, each built with proprietary knowledge of use cases for unmatched connectivity and reliability. MuleSoft and Salesforce 
increase developer productivity and allow you to build connected experiences. This is our uh, contact information, uh, my LinkedIn and Twitter handle. This is Nupur's LinkedIn and Twitter handle. When we are not building and connecting apps, we do connect over you know, uh, sports and doing So if you have any questions, we have answers for you. Uh, thank you, Ravi Anupur. There is one question popping up by Mukesh Bhatti that says, could you talk about API level security that MuleSoft supports? Sure. So API, so if you know any point platform, right? Any point platform has, well, when you deploy an API on any point platform, there are some out of the box uh, policies that you can apply on APIs. And those out of the box policies are, you know, Client ID, client secret enforcement. You can uh, you can uh, whitelist IP addresses. Uh, you can control the SLAs. There are so many other uh, out of the box uh, policies that you can apply that in fact enhances on the API security side. Along with that, you can have uh, two way TLS. So uh, so that you can you know uh, when the request comes, it has to be uh, validated against the certificate. So all of that are uh, the offerings from Endpoint Platform. Awesome. I posted another question by Hank. Uh, that is, is MuleSoft part of sales for solution license or separate license cost? And how is this built up? Yeah, okay. so that's a very good question. Uh, MuleSoft is, uh, uh, even though Salesforce bought MuleSoft a couple of years back, but it is still sold as a separate license. It's not part of uh, Salesforce licensing. And uh, for, for licensing works very differently. It really depends on how many cores you are buying. And uh, I would be happy to, you know, connect you to a means of sales rep if you would like more information on that. Thank you. And everyone, I would encourage you all to post your questions in chat. Since the presentation is over, we can take some time to go through your questions. No question is a bad question or a silly question. Please ask your heart out. Think another question from how is MuleSoft compared to Apogee? Ravi, if you can answer that. Yeah, so it's, it's I mean, think of it, you know, Apogee, Apogee uh, bought over by Google and uh, MuleSoft sales uh, by Salesforce, right? So, so they are competitors, but the offering is very, very different. MuleSoft is much advanced platform in terms of API led connectivity. Where APG used to be at some place, but now over time, you know, customer. I've seen customers moving over from APG over to uh, to MuleSoft, and it's not uh, just the buzz name. It's it's all it's also because uh, of the ease of use that MuleSoft provides. Uh, APG still lags behind in that, and over time, I've seen that APG is currently less and less customers are being used are using APG due to uh, Google. Uh, is trying to wrap it internally uh, within the organization. And uh, the other benefit is MuleSoft provides out of the box connectors as, as we have said, right? They have built in connectors for every kind of external systems you can think of. Apogee is not at that level at all. Yeah, and there is another question by Hitesh Trivedi. Any specific module or course specific for banking sector? Uh, so there are no, I mean, it's, so when we say any point platform, right, it's, it's all driven by API-led connectivity. And API is what unlocks your data across any enterprise. Uh, MuleSoft does have some, uh, I would say, uh, out of the box, uh, no, they have out of the box connectors. Uh, and uh, especially, specifically into the banking sector, right? Uh, it's it's still customizable. You can customize to some extent, but every every requirement is so different that you will have to customize it further. But I think uh, when when you uh, look into the offerings, uh, MuleSoft can connect to any healthcare industry, any banking industry, any retail, and they, they do have connectors and everything in uh, behind that. I think we are running out of time, so maybe we'll take just one more minute. It's 10 10 30. We will have to shut down. So there is another question, I think, which can be taken up in one minute. Uh, that MuleSoft is good for which customer market? Is it good only for large enterprise enterprise clients or clients which has multiple applications? Yeah. 
MuleSoft is good for any customer segment. You know, MuleSoft is being used at a small customer as and as you can go to any big customer you can think of. I have done consulting at a small, uh, I mean, MuleSoft consulting at a small businesses as and also at a big, big banking and financial institutes. It really depends on the use case. Uh, the whole premise is, you know, MuleSoft can connect anything to anything. It can connect any application to any application. It doesn't matter whether you are a small business or you're a big shop. Awesome. So thanks a lot, Ravi and Nupur. This was a really insightful session. We got a great participation. We could not answer all the questions which started pouring toward the end of the session. But uh, if you can email that to virtual dreaming email address, or uh, if you just Google them, I'm pretty sure you will find all the answers that you have. But if you cannot get any answer, so Ravi, if you would like to share your contact information one more time, that slide which had your and Nupur's contact information, I'm pretty sure people will be. Sure. So this is our uh, contact information. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this session as much as we, try, we, we enjoyed hosting you guys. Thank you so much. On behalf of Virtual Dreaming, we really appreciate the time that you guys have spent with us, presenters, as well as the people who joined in. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for being here.